Hello YouTube, I've been asked on Instagram about what kind of uh, lights I use uh, for my collection to help uh, light it up. Now what I use is a Honeywell um, wireless uh, spotlight. They use three uh, AA batteries. And what I liked about these compared to other um, wireless lighting uh, kits is the battery life. It, these things need to be on constant standby because they're powered on and off by remote. Uh, you could also um, power them by that little black circle as a button. You push that in and that will turn it on and off. But they're always on standby mode. So that does have a little bit of a um, battery drain. But I found that um, that these, these lights here, uh, I've had some for six months that I didn't even have to um, put in new batteries. So uh, I left a link in the description. Um, these are the ones with the gold tips. They have some more modern ones. But let me give you just an example of the difference of light because the camera will probably won't pick that up as good, but it does make a dramatic difference. And of course, it's, it's going to pick up better off camera than it is. Uh, let me give you a look at the new all white that they have. Here are the all white, I guess you would say pucks that they have. Um, they look a lot more modern. The other ones with the little gold, um, gold lights kind of reminds me of my parents' house in the 1980s. But as you can say, see, it gives a real good glow. And you could go um, from 50% light, right? I'll try to focus that in a little better, to 100%. And you could go down by um, 10%. So right now I'm clicking down to the desired lighting level that I want, right? Also, what's great about these lights is that you could turn them on for a specific amount of times and they're going to turn off by themselves. So these have a 15, 30, 60, and 120 minute um, on time that will turn off by themselves. Installation is pretty easy. I prefer to use the little uh, screw kit they have, the screw mountain kit. And it's this little plastic piece and two screws. If you use the double-sided tape, um, problem is getting it off. I had some other lights here that didn't quite work well, work out well. And you can see that even though I use a blow dryer to kind of heat up the adhesive and take it off, that when we use the adhesive uh, double-sided tape, it's gonna take off uh, a layer of the paint off. And a lot of times the problem is the texturing that you cannot replace. So I still got to put a little bit of uh, spackle, but I'm still, I mean, I don't know how to texture the ceiling to where if you just uh, take out the two screws, you spackle it, you paint it, and it's going to look a lot better than these really large pieces of a uh, layer of paint that's missing. So I would recommend using the screws and you never know when, you know, uh, you're going to move pictures and paintings around and you no longer um, need the lights where they are going to be. Not only do I use uh, the spotlights to help light up my collectibles and my artwork, but I also use it for certain family photos. Uh, this one has been professionally framed and professional photographer, so it helps bring out details that you would normally see uh, because of the light. So uh, adding lights to really big you know professional photos also is a great way to use these lights here's another example of um, what difference the lights make um, you know if you have a canvas painting or artwork and it's been highlighted by an artist you really do need these lights to help bring out the highlighting this is how it would look in in my room if i don't when once i put on the highlights you can see the colors just pop up. It really, you know, begins to really set up nicely. 
in the room. Uh, it brings a focal attention to the painting. Without it, it just kind of, uh, it blends into the room. So I really, really like these uh, lights on. Okay, to wrap up, I really recommend these Honeywell uh, battery powered wireless lights. I think the battery life is really excellent compared to others that I've had. Uh, I think they give out a great amount of power that is um, that you can adjust by 10%. Uh, you can also put 15 to two hour timers on each light, which is a great feature. It comes with a remote control. I would recommend using the mounting kit with two screws. It's a lot easier. I mean, the tape is easier, but removing it, I even used a, as I said before, a blow dryer to kind of take it off. And they were still taking three to four inches of diameter off the off the ceiling which uh, if you don't know how to texture is a problem so again i left the link in the bio thanks for watching till next time